Oh, hello there, how's it going? Welcome back to uh, Crafters TV. Welcome back to the Craft House. Do you like my t-shirt? I need to give a special shout out to Carol. It says, shut the front door, shut the back door, uh, pull the blinds, it's Joe Remnant's time. And then on the back, look what she's done on the back. Schmetterling! Ah, oh, it's amazing. Massive thanks uh, to Carol for that. What an exciting Craft House we have because we have got, ah, oh, no, 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 not just a, a Crafters TV launch, not just a UK launch, we have got a global launch for you. Our uh, pop-up box is always so incredibly popular and we have got brand new ones for you today. Craig's gonna take us through all the different options in just a minute. Before he does, I wanna give you the details because I know loads of you have already been ordering. 10% already of the pop-up box collection. You've got five brand new pop-up boxes in here. You've also got as well a brand new a pop-up box festive paper pad. It's not just for festive uh, pop-up boxes, it's for pop-up boxes all year round. It's gorgeous. You don't necessarily have to use this 
for your pop-up boxes. It's available on its own as well. I know it's going to be very, very popular individually if you want that. A lot of you have already gone for the pop-up box collection and popped an extra one into the, those into your basket. Now, it is, of course, a craft house, so it's a super interactive show. I really want you guys to get involved. i love for you to share with me any of the pop-up boxes you've made from any of our previous ranges, because they've always been so popular. You can do that studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send me in some pictures. I would love to see them. Right, Craig has been really excited about this and Craig is going to take us through all of the different options that you're going to get in here. I would say you can get them individually, but no one is. Everyone's going for the big collection, Craig. It's a beautiful collection, isn't it? Absolutely, it is, and I'm so excited to actually not only be here for uh, my uh, second craft house, although kind of my third, because the first one I've done from home, but anyway, it's great to have this launch here of the new pop-up boxes. Now, these will work in conjunction. If you've got the original one with the pop-up outer box that actually constructs the box, then you've got that already good to go, and then you can then just add on these ones that I'm just about to show you now into them, and they are going to work standalone, or of course they're going to work perfectly in conjunction. Now, we have got your poinsettia one. So, I'm going to open, I've actually got my set just to the side. So, we've got this one on here, which I say is the poinsettia. It is poinsettia delights. So, what this does is this gives you the ability to make something like this. Now, this is actually, I'm going to show you um, kind of how to actually create this sort of style. This one is actually done uh, by Nicole and her design team. And I thought it was that incredible that I thought I had to show you and I had to show you how she made it. So, this is the sort of thing that you can make. All these pop-up elements you can add as much or as little as you want you get the wee slots in the middle to actually create the pop-ups all you need to do is add some adhesive and uh, acetate so what you're getting within that one just there if I open my one just to show you you get the dies and you get the stamps now the dies you can absolutely use on their own if you so wish so if you like to create scenes if you like to do masking if you like to do uh, your decoupage you can do but then you get the dies to go with it as well nothing stopping you using them on your own what about fancy shakers you know creating the apertures popping the stamps behind but that lets you see that you can be doing that with those ones then we have got now check out this one if you really are into your traditional your nativity scenes now look at that so this one here is your away in a manger now these are all incorporating the paper pad that Joe just showed you which is 12 by 12 so this is the die and stamp set just there so exactly the same as I just showed you a moment ago it works perfectly in conjunction with the actual pop-up box now there's nothing stopping you from mixing and matching so like I showed you with the one before you get the stamp set and you also get the dies to go with it so once again this really is a perfect one to build your scenes you on the road exclusively in your pop-up boxes or will they lend themselves to other projects as well Craig you can use them wherever you like. Like I say, if you just want to use the stamps on their own, if you're really experienced with stamping, if you like to use your uh, Pebio, um, all your uh, Pebio gums or your uh, masking sheets, anything like that, think of the scenes that you could be making. Even those little uh, silhouettes in the background there of uh, the three wise men or the camel, but then you're getting all the dice to go with it as well. So you're getting everything there. So absolutely use them on their own or uh, use them in conjunction with the pop-up box. Then, we are going over onto Christmas Cottage. So this one I think really works well when it comes to your um, your your blues, your mint greens, your greys, very Norwegian uh, in that sort of fact with all those colours. Scandinavian somewhat. Scandinavian, yeah. But yeah, you can absolutely change the colours. You can completely make this for your traditional colours if you so wish. So this is then how it's going to come. All of them are going to become packaged exactly the same, all separate packaging. However, let's actually open this one to show you. you get your dice, you get your stamps exactly the same, but check out these ones. So there it is, let's show you the stamp set first. So there we go. So we've got the reindeer, we've got the house or the cottage, we've got the trees, we've got like the mountains in the background, you've got your snowflakes and that as well. But, as you would expect, the dies to go with it too. So build upon that, layer upon layer. If you like to do small cards and like to have your 3D elements on it, then you can be doing them as well, no problem at all. One, perfect. For little kiddies, what little kiddie wouldn't love this one? It's Santa and Rudolph. Now check out that. So we've gone for the reds, the browns, the blacks, and just making it all pop, making the pop up pop up. So you can see all your different parts there. So you've got the uh, the Santa sack, you've got the sleigh, you've even getting these little brickworks and that in the background. You're getting the snow as well. So let's show you. This is how it's going to come, and then show you all the different stamps that you can get with it. 
So we're opening this one up. If you like to, certainly in America, I know after Christmas you like to do your memory books or your scrapbook pages for uh, over the Christmas season. Now can you imagine just actually stamping and die cutting them out and then popping them into your scrapbook page and that, that would work well. So there is your dies. That's what I mean by the little brickworks. I just, I think they're so cute. You've got one up there as well. But then, that's stamp to go with it. Look at that. So in each set, you're getting such a selection of stamp. You're also getting that same selection as well with dies on that one. So nothing's stopping you using uh, all of these on their own or just picking it. You might just want to use the Santa on it on his own. You might just want to do that. We've actually got a sample that we'll show you later on where we've changed the colour of Santa. And what we've actually done is we've gone for uh, the, uh, the uh, I say the original, the greens of Santa Claus. I think before. Do you before, know that Santa only was green until Coca-Cola? It was Coca-Cola that changed Turned uh, Santa red. red. Yeah, I know. So we do, I, th I think Joe's actually got the, the sample. Uh, we'll find it. It's behind me. There we go, look at this one. There he is. There he is. So let's bring this one. So, using the paper pad as well, but look at this one. So changing the colours, traditional uh, before the Coca-Cola days, look at the green. How well does that work? You know, and then even with stamps, add your own sentiments as well. So that is the one that's still with Santa and Rudolph. And then check this one out. Look at this one, all your candy canes. You've got your gingerbread, so it's your gingerbread house. So there is your die pack, and then let's show you right inside what you're getting. So you're going to find, even if you incorporate the paper pad, the paper pad has got a nice selection of different colours, tones and designs that are going to work all throughout all the stamp sets. So let's bring this one in. So you're even getting that, uh, it's like the ability to uh, build obviously the gingerbread house in the pop-up or um, you know if you want to again I keep going back to masking but if you want to mask your own gingerbread house then you can do as well so there is all the stamp sets that you've got and of course you've got the dies as well so with that one bringing in this one you really can, I think this one really allows you to go all out this is this my one. favorite crate look this at one. that so you know it's busy but you you're not, you know something you're allowed to this one you really are allowed to to go all out add all the elements onto the sides as well as popping out as well you can go as big as extravagant as you want and don't forget with uh, if you've got the original die set to create the pop-up box you can go small you can go large it's entirely up to yourself i think our producer laura would like that one i think so anything to do with favorite, gingerbread laura would love that one that mm. is for sure so, uh, so that that's all them. of them wonderful uh, so they are your five different options uh, i need to let you know that it's getting really really busy on the individuals so uh santa and rudolph this one just at the top just here I'll share this one with you 20 percent a fifth of the stock of this one has sold out and gone so if you want that one i think that'll be the first to go individually now the best way to get the best value is to buy the whole collection without a shadow of a doubt however if you want to go for them individually two for 26 pounds or 35 dollars now also within the main collection there's a couple of other bits that you are going to get so you're going to get uh, this beautiful uh, paper pad. Now this is the new festive paper pad. It's been designed to work with our pop-up boxes, but that doesn't mean you can't use it for all of your other Christmas crafting as well. Uh, you can see here, of course, this is gonna work beautifully. Uh, and it was also fantastic because it's designed to work beautifully with all of the individual collections. So you've got something to work every box. I know a lot of people that are going for that big collection are also going for a second one of these paper pads. $12.99 on its own or $19.99 if you're in the US. The great thing is as well, if you pop an extra one of those in your basket with that main collection, it will take you over that free PMP uh, shipping uh, threshold as well, which is fantastic. What a lot of you will need though, if you don't already have it, is the actual pop-up box die itself, which is this one right here. So this is like your worker die. This is one that's gonna do all the work for you. It's gonna cut these boxes out for you. So then all you've got to worry about is that, oh, that's very sticky in there. Can I get it out? Oh, I can't get it out. I'll get it out in a minute. Um, this is going to do all the work for you so then basically the great thing is all you need to do is worry about you know sitting back relaxing and doing all of the decorating because let's face it it's a bit of a chore isn't it the box making you can use this to incorporate loads of your other um dies that you already have as well any small stamps and dies that you've got brilliant to use through here craig am i right in thinking a lot of these will go through your gemini mini as well so if you just wanted to do these you wanted to you know do this downstairs on the dining table you could if you wanted 
Absolutely, so even when it comes to the pop-up box that Joe's just showed you, if you want to have it really quite small, it will actually go through your Gemini Junior. Of course, if you want to make your pop-up really big that we'll show you just shortly, you will need your large Gemini. However, when it comes to all the pop-up elements where you stamp and die cut, then uh, they'll all go through your Gemini Junior, and many of them, if you've got the Gemini Go and the Gemini Mini, it will go through them as well. So absolutely a really good uh, selection to actually just sit on your your lap if you're watching TV you're watching us and you can just be actually rolling them through your die cutting machine with ease oh fantastic loads of you commenting away on Facebook as well which is brilliant Diane say love the shirt Joe a few people ask what it says it says shut the front door shut the back door pull the blind uh, it's Joe Remnant's time and then Carol's made it for me and then on the back it says Schmetterling as well which is amazing so massive thanks uh, to Carol for creating that uh, lots of you commenting along uh, Lynn saying she pre-ordered the pop-up box collection yesterday uh, sneaking in during work says Lynn uh, from Pennsylvania uh, Lynn sent us in some photos this morning we'll dig those out uh, don't forget any photos you want to send to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those Janet in Singapore is saying hello as well California girls are in the house uh, says Katie so uh, loads of you um, commenting a lot and that's what this show is all about that's what the craft house is about is about us and you gliding into the weekend and having a bit of fun getting all of our friends over and talking about uh, getting friends over i've got a very special crafter on the line at the moment it is the lovely pam in berkshire how are you pam i'm fine joe oh how good it's really good thank you it's such a pleasure uh, to get to chat to you again uh, you've been doing some crafting yeah. today what have you been up to uh well i've made something with each of the dies oh so uh, let me just let, every, were... let i just let everyone know so i spoke to pam a little bit earlier in the week on like monday i said here pam do you fancy coming on uh to the craft house how about if i send you out these you could be the first crafter to get your hands on them what do you think would you mind coming on and what did you said yes of course so uh, you've been working on these and playing with these all week is that right uh since wednesday yeah oh, nice. but i've had my grandson here today and yesterday afternoon so minimum oh it's been time. a busy week it has been a busy week uh, what do you make of them do you like them pam yeah yeah they've been interesting but because they are pop-up boxes i decided craig would do what you've just shown and all the yes, design absolutely tip. so i've um, popped out of the box oh. and shown you some different ways as well i hope well i'd love to have a look pam I, if that's all right I popped too much out the box. Oh, <laughs> so to speak said the actress to the bishop <laughs> while stirring her tea with the other hand um <laughs> yes yeah, so let's have a look would you mind showing us some of your creations in pam because i'm chomping at the bit see what you've been yeah, making we'll show you one of each then yes one please of each. okay so here's the first one i even got my enveloper out and made an Ooh. enveloper so sarah should be pleased with that so you know which <laughs> i'll let her know coming yeah so here it is oh which oh, way there am I you going? are there you that go uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so which way going now? <laughs> go the other way <laughs> other way that way oh that way yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> the uh, joys of so, modern technology eh, pam yeah i'll show i have to look at myself in the in the, in the little one so that's that one but i thought Beautiful. afterwards I'm going to make some more for Christmas. I'm going to have this bit opening so that I'll bring the um, the nativity down. So when it opens, it's like opening and make these a stable yeah. door. Pam, I'll tell you what to do. If right you now. hold it right in front of your face, we'll be able to definitely see it then. That's it, okay. like close to your face though. Hold it right towards your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but near closer to you. <laughs> Oh, close to I'll hold it. There way. you go. Brilliant. We can see it now. That's wonderful. Well, that one's absolutely beautiful, Pam. Uh, that looks <laughs> that looks <Right>. gorgeous. <laughs> what else have you been we'll making? Get there, Joe. We'll get there. <laughs> we will. We right. will. So the next one is a mini one. Right. Ta -da. Right. So that's a mini one. Where am I? There. Love that? that. Yeah. You hold it next to your face, and we'll be able to see it. That's wonderful. I'll hold it to me Brilliant. Face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that, is that love the right it. place, Joe? Yeah, you've got it. We can see it. Don't you worry. Uh, that looks beautiful. So that one's the poinsettia one, is it? That's the poinsettia. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. And then the, ne the next one. Oh, I tell you what, I mean, I'm getting quite, I'm getting quite uh, excited to say, oh, I love this one, Pam. That is gorgeous. Yep. So that's How that beautiful one. is that one? That, so that's the one with the reindeer on the front. Love that's that one. That's the reindeer, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep, yep. Okay, I must yeah. say, I'm not, 
I'm not a stamper and um, well, colorer. you could have you I could have fooled me, blends, Pam. So you could have fooled me. me. Now, <laughs> next one. Next one, yeah. Oh, that's tremendous! I love that one. So that made, is super cute. I made it like a a chimney. He so really is climbing. popping out, isn't he? Uh, but my son saw it last night, and he said, "Joe, my grandson Joe, yeah. if I'd put Father Christmas on a slider, a small yeah. child would love it. It's popping up and popping and back mate, down again. Uh, that would be a, a pop up, pop out." It uh, would, which would be, be a pop-up, pop-out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, have you got another one Last as well? One. Yeah, Last next one. one. You ready for this, Joe? I'm ready. I'm excited. Oh, I love it. It's an exploding box. That's amazing. Fantastic. You just hold it up a bit higher. I'll be I'm able to. Shape, wonderful. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Oh, beautiful. How long did that and take got, you? And it's just got the two little things in. Beautiful. How long did that take you to so, do? Uh, not too long. Not too long. Yeah, oh, it's you thank, beautiful. You have to thank our, De our Debbie, like, what are you like? What, she what? made it last year. <laughs> the, the <laughs> so I have to go back and Google it. And uh, say, what, what am I like? What are you like? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I, I, it's hard for me as a somebody from Cheshire with a Liverpool accent talking in Yorkshire <laughs> <laughs> but now you live in Berkshire is that right I don't well, yes we live in the Royal County of Berkshire oh yes, the Royal Berkshire. County <laughs> darling it the sounds Royal fabulous <laughs> just up the road from the Queen <laughs> oh really oh, which one um right <laughs> well, I've got quite a few friends <laughs> oh, I've got don't worry I've got loads of them uh, right, you, you've derailed me Pam you've derailed me uh, I want you to tell me <laughs> about your <laughs> it is Pam I need you to tell me about your crafting club that you've had going over lockdown because it looks well, so much fun i've really enjoyed catching up with all, all your antics so tell me about how it started how it came around and who's involved well we live in a little cul-de-sac just five houses and we decided the weather was good we'd all meet outside socially distance and have a cup of coffee so we all meet on a thursday morning and have a natter and um and then they all started saying oh we're really bored because most of us apart from one we're all retired uh, right. So we're all in super lockdown. And so I said, well, you know, I could do some craft. I could do actually a bit of yoga, but they didn't fancy that. So I said, well, I, we could craft. So they said, OK. So we set the date and I said, OK, I'll set my back garden up socially distanced. So it was all morning getting the Gemini's down and sorting out. So we've done four craft sessions uh, and we, we've done foaming flowers uh, we've done uh, cut-out dies, and last week it wasn't so good, so we went over the road to Pauline's house, and we did the foil candles. And so I've showed them all this morning, because we were having our coffee this morning, and they're all sat watching now, probably killing themselves laughing, because <laughs> they said, this is Monday now, I've got to do these these boxes with them on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, I'm glad we've been able to help uh, the crafting community. Do you think they're going to carry on after lockdown or do you think they're, oh, they're going to stop crafting? Pat, Pat next door, hi Pat. Pat oh, next hi, Pat door next door. bought a Gemini. Oh, oh really? Paulie, I've, I've, I've been buying the boxes, you know, the um, subscription boxes. Yeah. So they've all got subscription boxes. Oh, and they're great, so aren't they? They're great starting point. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, the, I've, I've turned them all into three crafts. I can see angels. the boxes behind you. <laughs> uh, yes. I can see the well, sub boxes can, behind you. Can you see the other yeah, side I can see them. the plastic folders? Yes, I can see all those as well. Boxes. It looks like a very, it looks like you've got plenty of stuff in there. That, that's boxes out of the box because there was no room for the <laughs> no boxes. No room to put them all. Uh, well, Pam, do you know what? It's been so lovely chatting to you. Uh, you've yeah. really, it's been really lovely you messaging us as well all over lockdown. Such a lovely little community of crafters that we've got here on Crafters TV. Yeah. Um, did you get... On, I did get the tag. Thank you so much. Did you much. get the yes, tag? I did get the tag. You know how I, I feel did. about a tag, Pam. I thought you'd put that in your haversack, Joe. Take it to... On me what? Me Harris set. Tag. You have to tie it on your haversack as your name tag for going on holiday. I mean, Harris sack. Haversack. Haversack. 
I've well, never I heard a of a haversack. A okay. backpack. backpack. All right. Backpack. Right. I'm going to put it on my backpack and I'll take a picture and send it to you, Pam. All right. I absolutely uh, love it. <laughs> Pam, it's been amazing uh, <laughs> speaking to you. To you. Yeah. My <laughs> favourite creation of yours over lockdown was definitely the PPE shield that you made out of the acetate uh, was the one that oh, made me yeah. chuckle the most. I mean, I that is a woman back. that is very resourceful I, right there. I, I was going to send it to you. It's stuck at the back there, Joe. Have <laughs> you still got it? Is it to hand? <laughs> Go on, show us it. Go on, grab I, it. Take your headphones off. Go on, grab it and pop it on. Go on. Uh, this, <laughs> I mean, Pam is a very resourceful crafter. I think you'll agree when you see she's going to pop it on and come back to us now. <laughs> we couldn't get any PPE. It was back at the start of lockdown. So Pam uh, messaged us and said, Joe, I think I've got it. <laughs> Pam, I love it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, absolutely perfect, Pam. Oh, I think I you look gonna, fantastic. I was going to send it to you, you see, Whoa. so you could walk around the studio. Doesn't matter if it's does it? What I could do is some, to be honest. And I mean, it's been very hard to get by. I've got visions of you doing your big shop in that, Pam, and I'm here for it, is what I'll say. Uh, oh, Pam, no, I don't shop. I just do this sort of shopping. My husband okay. does the shopping. I don't even know the price of a loaf or a pint of milk. <laughs> and Sounds married, like... Married 55 years. I don't go to Sainsbury's or anything like that. Let him, uh... let him indoors do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got it sorted. Pam, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to uh, speak to I you. You're a, you're a ray of sunshine. Uh, and hopefully we get to meet soon or I get to speak to you again in the well, near future. I'll tell you what, third time I'm going to be in the studio with you. So that's that sounds here. good. Third time I've got up to, I'm going to be up to Newcastle. You, you come up and we'll get you on. Don't you worry about that. Pam, <laughs> have a great weekend. Uh, I'll, spe okay. I'll speak to you again <laughs> soon. Take care. Okay, bye, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't she great fun, our oh, Pam? Oh, so, so much fun. What do you think to uh, Pam's PPE then, Craig? <laughs> that was the first time that I seen that. That was incredible. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. I th I'm sure I heard you talk about that uh, once before, but I'd never actually seen it. So, uh, so good seeing that. Just, wow, what you can do with crafting projects. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, wow. uh, Pam is an absolute breath of fresh air. I think she uh, is brilliant. We could definitely get her uh, in. I want to just recap. Uh, very, very busy again, don't forget. Over 10%, big collection, sold out and gone. Uh, Santa, 20% of Santa has gone. Uh, very, very busy also individually on the paper pad as well. Uh, if you want the paper pad, I know a lot of you are adding an extra one of these into your basket. Great way of getting yourself over the $100 spend as well in the US to unlock that free poster. Should we see what our crafters online are saying about uh, Pam? Um, oh, Astrid says, that pink is making me think of Blackpool Rock. Lick my top, it's Blackpool Rock, Astrid. Um, uh, Lynn saying uh, hello as well. Mary saying how uh, hi Pam. Uh, everyone saying uh, about how great Pam's uh, makes were. Love uh, the gingerbread. I love Pam doing the what am I like as well. <laughs> very very funny. Uh, oh Joe, what are you like? What are you like, Katie? Uh, but yeah, loads of love for Pam, which is always really really fun. Uh, a lot of laughing over Pam's PPE as well. I don't think it's like industry grade or standard Pam's PPE. Just as a disclaimer, uh, but I think. Uh, is fabulous right should we do maybe we should get into a demonstration i feel like we've had a lot of fun considering we're only like 25 minutes in craig absolutely i think the fun from this morning is uh, continuing right up till now so shall we crack on and shall we show you how uh, these actually work if maybe you've never seen them before so let's do it so i'm going to take the pop-up box card now uh, say pop-up box card but actually makes the pop-up so what you're going to need is you're going to need the main element so you can see that one here so that actually die cuts your um, pop-up box so you're going to need two of those however you do get a few extras as well where you can do your matting and layering already done with the dies and you also get your uh, wee panel as well you're going to need three of them but we'll step you through them so what we're going to need is your uh, A4 card so this is the way that I always do it first is uh, die cut it in A4 so I'm going to pop this to the side. So I say A4 for all you guys in the States, that would be around about letter size. So I always just pop it right to the top there of uh, the cardstock. So you can see that there. Now I'm using uh, white, but of course you can use any other color cardstock that you've got. Maybe Centura Pearl, maybe Texture. You can do all that entirely up to yourself. A quick so, question for you, Craig. Yes. Uh, the bow for the pop-up boxes, is it the same as the bow from the Signature Black and Gold collection, or is it smaller? Do you have no. any idea? It is uh, a different bow. 
Um, I can't remember offhand what the size was with the black and gold, but what we'll do, maybe if we get a chance later, we will demo it, but I'll just show you, here it is, just here. So this is the bow. So what I'm going to do is, so the main outside die, so it is six inches by about just over one and, a qu uh, one and three quarter inches. So of course that's then going to be uh, folding back in on itself, but just to give you a bit of a reference, so the actual outline is six inches by uh, one and three quarters. So uh, that'll give you an idea if you do have the black and gold to die. So what I'm going to do is let's take this one out and we're going to bring another one that I've already done. So I've already die cut this one as well. So let's just take that one off. So taking that one off. Now bringing in, now you can use your uh, paper trimmer, your uh, craft knife and your, ru uh, your ruler or use your guillotine. So what I'm just going to do, let's bring in the scissors. Let's just chop off just this excess bit just here and here. And then what you're going to do is down that outside line, just follow that. So you're just going to cut that, just continue in that. So all the way down, so you've just chopped that off and then turning it around. And again, you're just continuing down this line just here. So we're going to chop that off all the way down. Getting really, really busy now, Craig, uh, especially uh, on the big collection. Uh, lots of you going for that. It's much, much busier than all of the individuals. Four uh, people going for the big collection for everyone that's going for the individuals. 20%, a fifth of the stock has gone. It is a world launch. You've not had it anywhere else. You won't have seen it yet in the US. It launched today with us here uh, in the UK. So if you want it, definitely grab it. You can see a lot of people with it in their basket as well, Craig. So all that I'm just doing now is I'm taking that second one that I'd already uh, pre-die cut and I'm just doing exactly the same. So I'm just cutting down the, uh, the die cut line. So I've got two of them. Now you've got your uh, crease lines as well. You can see just here. So if I was to, just for the sake of it at the moment, so if I was to turn them over, so this is going to be the top of your pop-up box. So you now, you just determine how tall you want your pop-up box. So if maybe you want it just a couple of inches, you're going to cut it down there. If you want it really tall, then you're going to cut it, uh, well, you don't even need to cut it, you can keep it that length. Now I have got a couple that I'd already, here we go, I'd already pre-cut. So just to let you see, I'll do one so that you can see. So I cut this one to seven and a half. So this tall, um, this score line at the top, which would mark the top of your pop-up box, I'm just going to pop that to the seven and a half mark inches just there, and then I'm going to cut. Now that's then going to give me my pop-up box that you can see just there. So let's pop that one to the side, and then let's bring in the uh, the two that I'd already pre-done. So I'd just done them and I'd already popped some tape on. So let's bring these ones in so you can see. So you've got your score line. So let's just rescore them again so you can see. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold them and burnish. So you've got your score lines. So we're just going to do exactly the same. Craig, I'm just hearing since Pam's been on, there has been a surge on acetate sales <laughs> on our website. I think we need to get Pam to do some PPE how-to uh, that we could maybe put on the website. What do you think? Yeah, could do. That's very good. Uh, for even maybe we might have some uh, fancy acetate on there. You never know. That would be quite good. Oh, you could get maybe some. You know, to see maybe though. Oil it, yeah. You could yeah. do that. That would be good to see. So what we've just done here is, you've got your uh, two pop-up boxes. So you've got your two panels that will create one. So what I've just done is on the back of one of them, I've already popped some red liner tape. So let's place that one on just like that. And we're just going to press. And then once again, for the next one, we're going to do exactly the same. And then we're just going to turn that one over. Let's fold that over just there. Now what you will have found, so if I bring this back in, you also get three embossed lines. So if I turn that just so that you can see. So if I bring that a bit closer, so let's bring it up to the top. So we're looking just along there. There is, there we go. Do you see them? We've got the three embossed lines. Yeah. So that's where you are going to match up your uh, panels. I'm going to show you in a moment. Now, uh, they are embossed. They are not meant to die cut. 
we have put them in the, the boss line so that you can match them up. If you want to put a score line uh, and a cut line, that's entirely up to yourself. But obviously then that just means that you're going to see that cut line if you don't matten and layer them. So it just lets you see that they've got that area just to uh, meet them up to. So we'll show you that in a sec. So you've got your uh, start of your pop-up box. So on the two sides, just fold them over. And then on one of the ed uh, sides, you're going to pop that one over. So then that's going to give you the start of your pop-up box and of course it will then fold flat. So let's set that one to the side for the time being. And then that die that I had showed you right at the start, which is just here, you are going to just die cut that uh, three times. So just uh, like you would with any other die, it's just going to pop through. This one of course will go through your mini or your go. And you're going to do that three times and that's going to give you these ones. So just fold in them because you've got your score lines and I've already just popped some uh, red liner tape. Now you can start to pop these in before you assemble the box. I still just find it easier to assemble my box and then pop them in, but you just see what's best for you. So let's take these ones off. So I take all the tape off to start with. If you want to use a wet glue, then you can do with a pop-up box like this. I'm happy using a red liner tape. Do you tape. think, Craig, with these dies, that the not the so much the worker die, but the embellishing or the decorating dies? Do you think you could use them to decorate the other boxes that we sold last week? You know the ones that are like the milk box and oh, the gosh, yeah. uh, absolutely those ones. These would work great on those as well, wouldn't they? You can use them to decorate whatever you like. You don't just have to use them for the pop-up box. You can use to create toppers for your cards you know as I said earlier uh, decorate your scrapbook pages if you've got your boxes then absolutely make them and incorporate them you don't just have to use it maybe you've got no intention of making pop-up boxes but you like the stamp and dies you don't have to buy the pop-up element you can just use the uh, the dies and stamps on their own so you don't think you have to so what I'm just doing now, I'm going to turn it this way. So all that I'm just doing is this fold just here. Um, all that I'm just doing is just matching that up to that score line that's in there. So I know it's harder to see. So it's just going there. And then on the other side, I'm just matching that up again. Now, this is where I say you might find it easier doing this before you construct. I actually find it easier doing it this way. So you're just going to do all three of them. So let's pop that one in as well. And then let's just turn that over and we're just going to place that one. And then last but not least, pop this one in. This is then going to give us our pop-up box. Then we've got that fun just decorating it. So let's pop that one on and press. And then let's pop that one on and then press into place. I'm just going to fold and squeeze just for them to hold in place. And then there we go. There is the pop-up element of your box so that's all ready to go and it folds flat as well and that's you ready to decorate oh it looks wonderful and i guess really i mean very it's very busy on that uh, box making die individually craig because uh, people i mean it's, it's very busy and in connect connecticut so she never buys a whole collection craig she's bought this one immediately if you just want the a pop-up box card die on its own absolutely you can do that there might be a lot of you out there that already own a lot of embellishing and smaller stamps and dies and you're just going for this today that's absolutely fine but it is very busy on the big collection remember in the big collection what you get is you get the five stamp and die collection you get that wonderful brand new paper pad as well lots of you going for an extra one of that individually and you also get of course the rocker blocks included to two you can uh, get club discount on that as well if you want to of course you do a uh, club members uh, platinum members in the UK you'd be saving 17 pounds you'd be saving almost $20 in the US uh, and of course gold members you'll get 15 cents silver 10 etc etc uh, now is the fun bit Craig I'm guessing it is it really is the fun and actually just to go on what you just said there as well uh, obviously you don't necessarily have to have the pop-up box however you might just want the pop-up box you don't want the stamp and dice and you can use any of your other stamps and dice that you've got at home and create your own pop-ups as well so think what else you've got uh, when it comes to your uh, crafty stash and use them so what we're just going to do is let's just decorate the outside of the box very quickly and then we'll get into stamping and colouring and assembly. So I've just taken our paper pad and I've already done my mats and layers. You do get your uh, die where you can do your one layer of mats and layers on the panels. However, you know me by now and you know I like to create my own mats and layers. So I have just got these ones. So I've just got my uh, black card and already matting and layered these on. So let's just fold these ones on and I'm just going to press them into place 
just like that let's press them and then we're just going to work our way around just by decorating it now this is where you can have the fun of changing the colorways you can bring in any of your other paper pads that you have at home if you like to create your own backgrounds with your sparkle inks any of your ink pads then why not do that use the paper pad that i'm doing but start to distress them use uh, your colors and your blending tools as well so we give you the basis to start when it comes to the paper pads should you wish to use them but then just start to think how else why not emboss them as well so i've just popped them straight for instance this red layer on these ones why not die uh, Cut these to size, either yourself or use the, the die, and then run them through an embossing folder and then start to use, I know we've got the Gildan Wax on the show as well today, use that as well. So there we go, so we've got the, the base part already decorated side by side. You could of course decorate the back, I'm not going to uh, just for uh, the time today. So let's just fold that flat and now just remember to pull the flap overwards because if you decorate underneath, you're not going to see it so let's just pop those ones on like that so we've got that one we have got that one and let's just turn that one over then we've got this one and then all that i'm just going to do to finish off this layer is let's bring this top layer and then all that we're just going to do is pop it onto the back and press that into place now that starts to give us our decorated pop-up box so you don't have to go all in with lots of detail, however you can if you want, but now really is the fun bit where you get to use the stamps and dies. You can start to color exactly what we're away to do just in a moment. Fantastic, uh, very, very busy. Uh, uh, over 20% gone now. A lot of you saying you can't find uh, the Christmas pad. What I would say is go onto the main part of the website and search pop-up box Christmas uh, and you should be able to uh, find it there. It's very, very busy on the pad individually as well as getting it in that big main collection. Let me just give you a reminder of all of the brand new collection that you are getting today because it is very, very busy. So you're gonna get uh, Santa and his reindeer. So Santa and Rudolph, which is that one just there. My favorite one is this one, which is uh, the gingerbread. Robin in Maryland just talking about having a gingerbread making competition, which sounded tray delicious. Uh, you've also got those poinsettias. Now I think poinsettia just seems to be so on trend for Christmas and it gets more and more and more popular every year the next one you've got here is the christmas cottage uh, which is fantastic that's the one with that lovely uh, deer on the front of there and you've then got uh, away in a manger which is your really traditional uh, sort of christmas scene uh, which is there so uh, if you want to get an extra one of the um paper pad it's not in the shop the show you are just gonna have to go to the search bar on the main area of the website and put in pop-up box christmas uh, and the pad will appear there if you want to get the pad uh, then it's a great price individually 12.99 or 19.99 in the main collection you're getting all five of those stamp and die sets you're also getting the pad itself and you're getting the rocker blocks as well if you only wanted to go for a couple of the stamps and dies absolutely you can two for 26 pounds or 35 dollars now you can also mix and match with the everyday pop-up uh, stamps and dies that we've got on our website let me just grab those ones for you because all of the ones we launched recently are also available uh, right now on our website either as a collection or you can get them uh, individually if you want to. So uh, there's quite a lot of them in here. I'm not sure if they're all in the collection. Uh, let me just go through which one's in the collection. So you're gonna get Ocean Paradise, which is this one here. You're going to get uh, this one here, which is Back to Nature. You're also going to get the eight by eight uh, pop-up pad, which is in there. That one is also available uh, individually. Uh, you're gonna get Once Upon a Time, which is that one just there. You're also going to get in here a floral boutique, which is that one uh, you can see just there. This one is your happy birthday. Always very, very popular, that one. You've also got vintage tea party. That one is available there. You've got, uh, I believe in fairies. I personally do believe in fairies. Uh, and you've also, uh, the other one that you can get, this one uh, is available individually. It's the ornate bow uh, that Craig was talking about. So you can get that collection individually, 86 pounds, $115 or you can mix and match these ones with those ones. So you can really customize and create your own bundle. Don't forget as well, the pop-up box die, very, very busy on that. 
Uh, a lot of you coming in for that uh, now and a couple of the uh, stamps and dies that we have there too. Right, is this the really fun bit now, Craig? This is the real fun bit now where you get to do your stamp and die cutting and colouring. So what I've just done is I've taken our dies from our pad. Now as you can see here, you even get the outline of where your dies go back. So that's nice and handy to have. So I've just used our white smooth cardstock and I've just popped them all on. Now you obviously you get one of each. Uh, however, when it comes to creating your pop-up box, you can of course uh, use more than one. You just need to die cut them several times. So the wafer thin die, so it's just like you would normally fine so it's your uh, base cut and plate it's your card and your dies then it's your plastic shim magnetic shim and then your top cut and plate but uh, most of these if not all of them will go through your go or your mini so let's just bring this one in so I like many find it easier to die cut and then stamp but of course you can absolutely stamp we've got the rocker blocks on you could stamp and then die cut afterwards so let's just pull these ones out the way so all that I'm just going to do now is I've just pop all of these out so you've got all of these so I've got some all ready and good to go but I want to show you how uh, these actually come out so let's pop them out and then what we're just going to do is bringing in the stamp. So let's move them out of the way and then bring in my stamping mat with my stamping platform. And then let's bring a few of these on to start with. So what I'm just going to do is let's bring this main one on. So we're going to pop that within the middle. It doesn't need to be anywhere exact because you're going to line it up yourself. So I'm just using a Furness Alcohol Proof Noir Black because uh, we're going to be using the Tri-Blend pens. So they're alcohol pen. If you want to use your watercolours, any of your uh, aqua pens or anything like that, your sparkle pens, sparkle pots, then you can use the waterproof ink pad. So now all that I'm just going to do is I'm going to stick my head in the way just slightly for a moment just so that we can line these ones up. So once I'm happy that they're lined You've up. You've no greys, Craig, I'm pleased to report. Just, <laughs> None whatsoever. And I must be the only one, the only guy in the world that's not actually concerned if he does go grey. And do I'm you not. Like a bit so, of grey? Sorry? Do you, not, you don't mind going grey? I don't mind going grey at all, no. So then, there we go. so we have got, there's your first one. So that's already been uh, stamped and die cut, or like I say, you can if you wish, you can stamp it first and then die cut it. So let's just do a couple more of these, and then we'll show you what it's like when you colour them. So once again, let's just pop them on, and then we're just going to... He is asking, that, Craig, where she can send photos. We'd love you to send pictures, especially of your previous pop-up boxes that you've made. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send them into. Details right there along the bottom of your screen. Carol is also asking, is the HSM preview today? Carol, you are in luck. It is today. It is in... Two hours and 17 minutes. Uh, it's going to be from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. Uh, across on the East Coast. So make sure you join us for that after this. I don't know if it's here on Crafters TV, though. I think it might be across on the uh, Crafters Companion USA page. So just double check uh, where it is. I'll find out for you and let you all know. Okay, doc. So what I'm then just going to do is let's just stamp one more. So let's use the poinsettia because we'll colour this one in. So let's just get that lined up just right and then i'm going to press into place and then you've got your stamped image so there we go so that gives you the idea as to how you would do all of them and again if you want a nice selection then you can die cut and stamp more if you wish so let's move that all out to the side now i've got some of our uh, tri-blend pens already at the side of me now i'm not going to spend ages coloring them um because that's the fun but you get to do it at home i've got some that i've already pre-colored just to show you as well so i've got just a, a small selection so let's go for the dark red selection and let's bring in our poinsettia so because it is our alcohol pen let's just bring in just a piece of cardstock to just uh, work on top. Craig, just a quick one. So yeah. I'm guessing with the box construction, you would use stamping cards, good construction card, isn't it, for yeah. the actual boxes. Would you then you still use stamping card for these elements or would you use one of our, maybe something like a Nina instead? Uh, you could use Nina if you so wish. Um, I just use our uh, smooth stamping card because then obviously you can stamp on it and colour it as well. But if you like your uh, Nina, then you can do. Uh, of course, yeah, I've constructed the box using our white smooth cardstock. You can use our glitter card. You can use our matte card. You know, we can use any of our different cardstocks as well just to uh, make the box. So Fantastic. you can do those things. So maybe if you don't want to decorate it with the paper pad, you can use your coloured cardstock as well. 
So try blend pen. So I've got the dark red selection just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the uh, the light end. So we've got the DR1. So this is the light end. If you're new to try blends, you've got your light end, you've got your dark end, and then you've got your mid within the middle. So what I'm just going to do is let's start in this one here. So just in small circular motions, I'm just going to colour in the poinsettia petal. But however, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go right to the top. I'm going to stop maybe about two thirds of the way up. Then I'm going to turn my pen round to the dark end. And then once again, I'm just going to go in circular motions, maybe just about a quarter of the way, maybe not quite that far up. And then what I'm going to do is go to the mid. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go right over that dark where I've coloured. What I'm going to do, just where the light and the dark meet together, circular motions with the mid, I'm just going to go over the two. Then I'm going to go over the light that I've done. So I've gone over with the light to start with because that kind of, it's kind of like it primes your cardstock, gives the alcohol something to uh, grab onto. And then once again, just where that mid colour ends, I'm just circular motion just with the white, with the white, with the light, and then just finishing colouring it in. Now I'm going to move on to the next one just now, because what you'll find, just a few moments or so, you just need to let that alcohol evaporate, and then that's when you'll see the blending really come to its, uh, come into its own. So Craig, let's I mean, just... We've got uh, tri blends on the show, great deal on those today as well. What other um, of our colouring mediums could you use to colour these? You can use any of our mediums. So if you've got our classics, then you could be using them. If you've got our sparkle pens, our aqua pens, um, our aqua pencils, colour tints, uh, sparkle pots and your water brushes, anything like that, whatever way that you want to colour them. Or what you can do is stamp them onto pattern paper. So some of the red designs that are in the paper pad, you could stamp onto the red design then die cut it and then that just saves you actually colouring them in. It'll give you a nice uh, decorative poinsettia. So think of those ways as well. So just really so many different ways in which you can uh, colour them. Fantastic. So Loads again, of people loving this uh, in the comments, Grey. Uh, Robin says she doesn't call it grey hair. She calls it a glitter streak. I'm not grey, I'm glittered, she says. Well, I think that's a great way uh, of thinking about it. Um, but Hannah says I bought the pop-up box and stamp and dies had to go back to buy some more bits. Uh, she needs it all. I want these boxes like yesterday. Joe, can I pick mine up at CCHQ? It would be a worth a, fight, a flight to the UK. <laughs> I'll make sure to wear the craft acetate PPE in flight. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. I reckon though by the time you get, I mean we could send them. It'd be, I think it's easy if we send them. I can't condone you travelling internationally. Uh, we're not letting anyone in from the States at the moment as well. If we were, I'd say yeah, you know, uh, pop over. Um, Katie says, I'm not giving in to the grey. Nope, I am not. <laughs> uh, a lot of people talking about how they're making these boxes as well. Tony Rush saying, I don't mind. Uh, no, that's Stacey, sorry. Tony Rush saying, I love making these boxes from Centura Pearl when I'm doing florals, which is a nice way of doing it, Craig, isn't it? That is, that is a really nice way as well. So yeah, that's what was on about earlier on when uh, think about your uh, cardstock and that that you've already got at home. So what I'm going to do is if I bring this a bit close up for you to see, so can you see we've then gone from the shading, so we've gone from the dark right into the base and we've gone lighter all the way out. Now, as you get more advanced, you could add a lot more detail within the actual veins of the poinsettia if you so wish. You can be doing that as well. So then here's one of the actual poinsettias that I'd done earlier. So you can see there, so we've gone from the dark right into the centre, working our way out to the light, and then just into the middle, I've just taken one of our other uh, yellowy tan colours and just dotted that into the middle. And then what I just want to do is let's just stamp a leaf, just so I can show you the same idea as to what I was just doing a moment ago with the shadowing, but just with the green, just so you can see the difference in the colours. So let's stamp that one on and then let's just bring in our stamping mat and we can then just pop that over the top. We're just going to layer that on and I'm just going to press to commit 
like that. And then the great thing with having our uh, finesse alcohol proof ink pad, you don't need to wait. You can go straight on to colouring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of slightly change uh, the way that I want, uh, the way that I've done the poinsettia, just so that you can see, you can have a, have a play yourself with shades and the way that the light would come in. So I'm still going to do what I've done before. So just with the lightest. So this one is the Alpine Green Blend. So I'm going with the lightest end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in circular motions like I was doing before. But what I'm then just going to do is I'm just kind of going to go over the side just there. So instead of leaving this top part white, I'm just kind of leaving it at the side. It's a wee bit white. And then I'm going to go with the darkest, turning it over right to the dark. And then once again, what I'm just going to do this time is I'm just going to go circular motions, but just up the side slightly. You can go up the veins of the leaf if you want. And then I'm going right into the middle. And then we're going over into the mid-tone, circular motion, and we're just covering up all of that light layer that we've just done, making sure we don't go over the dark layer because, because it's alcohol, what's going to happen is if you go over the dark layer completely, you're actually going to make it lighter because you're pulling out all that colour. So that's why you don't want to actually go over it once again. So if I then bring this one up, and then I'm going to bring this one in. So now you would leave that just a wee bit longer for that alcohol to evaporate. But can you see already? So if I turn it, there we go. So you can see already how uh, you've got that shadow and coming to life. And then if you've got maybe a white gel pill, gel, gel pill, gel pen, and then you can uh, start to Je add a wee Craig bit of Craig petit gel pen, pour favor. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, je m'appelle Craig. That's all I know. Je bit a county Durham. I usually say Carnoustie, but so you can see on that one, that's what I've just done. And then that's what I've done uh, beforehand. And then I've got, even just when it comes to the wee berries, exactly the same. It might be really small, but just doing exactly what I uh, was doing beforehand. Just doing a bit of light, dark, and then uh, your mid as well. So let's just show you how you can start to construct it. So bringing in the parts that I've got. Now, I've got uh, many of my parts ready to go. Only thing I've not done is uh, coloured them because I was so keen to actually show you actually how to create them. So you are obviously going to spend all that time at home to create them yourself. So let's then bring these all in. And now what I've got, because let's use the, the two that we've coloured, just pop that to the side. I've just got some acetate strips. Now I've just cut them, it's about a centimetre in width. And I've left it quite long because then you can determine how short you're going to cut them. So let's bring in the poinsettia. And I've already popped some uh, red tape uh, on the back. So let's peel that one off. And then all that I'm just going to do is just kind of within the middle of the poinsettia. Let's just press that and then we're starting to get that boinginess of your poinsettia that you can see Oh, there. I do love a boingy poinsettia. You do like you know. a boingy poinsettia. I do indeed. We all love that. So then this is one that I've also coloured earlier on, one of the other stamp and die sets that you get. So a bit more of the, uh, the holly and the foliage. So let's just do exactly the same. So let's just peel that one off and pop that one on. And then it's just the case. Let's Pop that straight. I'm starting to create it and assemble it within the pop-up box. Do you make them all sort of long and then trim them down once you're positioning them, Craig? Or do you cut the strips different uh, lengths already from the start? So what I usually do, I've already pre-cut uh, these to what I uh, I think that I would need them. But I would just, let's take the, the ones that I've just added there. So what I would just do is I'd keep them on the long strip and then I would just start to position a couple. So I would work out maybe what ones I want towards the back because the ones at the back, you're going to have higher up than the one within the, the middle. So when I say the middle, I'm just meaning kind of like that middle strap are going to be a bit lower. And then the ones towards the front, you are going to have them even lower. So you're getting that step and dimension. However, nothing stopping you from having, having other ones just poking out in that just to give that a bit of a natural look. So what I would then tend to do is just pop a few in, see where I'm going to position them and then kind of cut them to size and then I would just uh, take them into place as well. So that's a way that you can do it. So let's just take the few that I've already done. So let's take the double poinsettia. So the one with the double poinsettia, I put two bits of acetate on so you can see just to hold it up well. So I'm just going to peel that off, taking that next one off as well. Now what to do as well 
is if you pop them onto the back of the strip, so if I turn it that way, onto the back just there, if you pop it to the front, then you're going to actually see the acetate, you know, you're going to see it holding it up. So just pop it to the back. So if we then, so I'm going to do it facing the camera. So I'm doing this looking into the camera. So, so let's hopefully we'll get that straight. So let's stick that one on just there. And then we can stick that one on just there. So there we go. So that's the first one done. And then let's take one of the foliage set. And once again, what I'm just going to do is take and that asking, off. Craig, if we have a Christmas set for the tri-blends, we don't specifically, you know, what I would say is though, most, nearly all of the tri-blends are available individually. Of course, the value is a bit better when you get them in the six packs and I'll run you through those six packs in a minute, but they are all available individually on our website. If you want to get individual markers, by all means, you're more than welcome to. Do pop across to the main area, the Spectrum Liar area of the website and you'll find all of the individual ones there as well. So that's always a good way of getting them if you didn't see uh, one of the six pieces that work for you. Yeah, like you say, great selection of colours that really do go uh, throughout the whole year. And then keep it in mind, because you've got the three shades within the one pen, it really does open up. Maybe, for instance, any red goes at Christmas time. However, you might think a certain red might be a bit too dark for Christmas. Well, you've got another red, uh, two lighter tones within that same pen. So that's a great thing about having the tri-blend pens. So then what I'm just going to do is let's just pop that one towards the middle, just there. And then I've even got another one of the double poinsettia and I've even just cut the acetate really, really low. And then we're going to pop that right to the front. Well, you peel that off and we're going to pop it right oh, to the front. Oh, you're sticking it right on the wall of the box? So actually one. on the wall of the box, yeah. So that's really starting to add all of that dimension. So if I then just hold that into place, just like that. And then you can see how it's starting to come together. So you can just keep adding layer upon layer. Of course, yours will be coloured. Why not decorate some of the sides as well? You've got all these bits you can decorate if you so wish. Maybe add a sentiment from your collection. And then if you carry on and you're going to be able to see, this is what it would look like. This is, of course, what uh, Nicole has made on, uh, on our team do check out her and the rest of the design team project. So if you can just see, even on that poinsettia, just see, see where she's just popped a few uh, wee dots of uh, your gel pen. So your wee white gel pen, all she's just done is just popped little dots and then there we go. So that lets you see how you can be creating something like this with the actual uh, poinsettia box. Fantastic. Uh, Anne says, top tip, don't put the acetate on your glass mat, it vanishes. Uh, it really does. Uh, make sure you stick it on first. Uh, before you do. Uh, love your shirt, Joe. It suits you, says hi, yes. Carol Co made this, uh, and it says, uh, shut the front door, shut the back door, uh, pull down the blind, it's Joe Remnant's time. How fabulous is that? I thought I had to wear it uh, at least once on there. Thank you so much, Carol, uh, for that. Oh, and don't forget the back, Schmetterling, uh, on the back as well, uh, which is amazing. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, lots of people talking about glittering their berries uh, on their boxes, uh, which is fantastic. Um, loads and loads of love for it. Lots of love for that uh, creation there from Robin and Mary and Deborah as well. Right, let's run through exactly what you are getting included in here. So uh, the concept is pretty straightforward. I'm sure uh, Craig has explained that and demonstrated that beautifully for you. These are the dies and the stamps that are going to allow you to beautifully embellish each one of these pop-up boxes. So they're all available individually. Best value comes when you get that big collection, of course. You've got Santa and Rudolph in that one just there. The other one you've got, this one is actually my favorite. It's the uh, gingerbread house, which is just fantastic with the candy canes and all those lovely gingerbread. Uh, you've got the poinsettia, which is this one here, poinsettia delights, uh, which is a real uh, iconic Christmas scene with the candles. And poinsettias just seem to get more and more and more popular uh, in recent years. You've also got uh, the Christmas cottage in here as well, uh, which is fantastic. And then finally, you've got a way in a manger. I want to burst into a uh, Christmas carol uh, when I see that one. Uh, really, really gorgeous. All of those. What you'll also get as well in the uh, main collection is, of course, you're going to get some rocker blocks and you're also going to get as well the pad. Now, the pad is fantastic. It is our pop-up box Christmas pad. It's been designed to work beautifully with uh, your pop-up boxes. No reason that you can't just use this for generic Christmas crafting. I mean, it is a wonderful uh, pad. It's available individually. It's $12.99 or $19.99 if you want to get it individually. It is there on the web. It isn't in the shop the show category though. Uh, so you will need 
uh, to uh, just check uh, the uh, general part of our website. It is a pop-up box Christmas, uh, and it's the, the paper pad uh, that you want there with that one. Uh, now, what should we show you next? Should we do, oh, don't forget the actual die, of course, that's going to make your pop-up boxes. This is what's gonna make the, uh, the sort of concept for you. So this is a bit that does all the work. And you could maybe, if you wanted to, with scoreboard and paper, sit down and work it all out, but this does it for you. You know, Run this through your Gemini, and you've got the uh, perfect result ready to go. Goes through, of course, all of your other regular die cutting machines as well, not just our Gemini. 24.99 or 39.95 if you want to get hold of that one. Uh, right, tri blends. Very, very busy on these. So I'm going to run you through the different options that you've got here. I love this new configuration. The great thing about the new configuration, it allows you to get a colour family at a really, really keen price. $17.99 gives you all the colour that you've got here to do a project, which I think is great. $17.99, $26.95. This one here is the portrait blend. So you've got coral blend, pink pale blend, fair skin, gold brown, tan blend, and earth brown blend in that one. This one is your floral blend, and in here you've got bright pink, lavender, purple, dark red, orange, and citrus in that one. The next one we've got for you is the uh, natural blend. You've got light yellow, citrus green, dull green, hydrangea, ice gray, and you've got brown gray in that one as well. The next one here, this one is your woodland, and you've got your jade green, gold brown, tan shade, brown gray, earth brown, and your ice gray as well. This one, now this one is your vintage blends. And in the vintage blends, you're gonna get vintage blue, antique pink, dusty purple, red brown, yellow green, and also muted brown as well. Now, in your jewel shades, love these colors. In the jewel shades, you've got the dark red, the true blue, the coral, the bright pink, the blue turquoise, and also that pale pink in there. The next one is your coastal blends. Now, blends is an extension to shades, so they're two different things, but it means that there's other colors that you can extend using these. You've got your ice blue, your blue turquoise, your true blue, your light green, your jade green, and your green turquoise. And then finally, this one here, this one is offering you the exotic blends, which are burnt orange, aqua blue, gold yellow, pink violet, your alpine green, and your magenta as well. $17.99 or $26.95. I can see lots of you multi-ordering and going for more than one uh, on those tri-blends right there. Right, uh, all the prices we share with you here at Crafters TV, you can all get your Club Inspired discount on top of that, which is fantastic. If you're new to us here at Crafters TV and you're maybe not wholly familiar with Club Inspire, here's all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there, of course, 
of Club Inspire, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Derek's just the other side of the wall in the gallery, having a right good old natter on uh, Facebook. There's a lot of cruise chatter seems to be going on uh, in the comments, which is uh, always welcome from you guys. Uh, Derek, of course, will be here on Monday morning. Uh, he'll be here with Sarah, which is fantastic for a foil press masterclass. He'll be back later for Debbie What Am I Like Robinson uh, in the evening as well, which I'm, we're all looking uh, forward to. Uh, Mary says, your shirt is so awesome. Kelly saying, Joe, love, love, love your shirt. We, it's not, I didn't make it. We need to thank uh, Carol Coe. Uh, in the Peak District who made it for me. Uh, she said, Melissa, we all need a Joe Roberts t-shirt. We could all wear them on, yes, I'm going to say it, the cruise. Oh, we could have uh, fancy dress themes. We could have, we could have like uh, sequin Saturday, couldn't we, on the cruise? Are you ready? I'm just, if, there you go. So uh, shut the front door, shut the back door, pull the blind, it's Joe Remblant's time. Uh, that's the first squat I've done in years. Uh, uh, Loads of you still uh, commenting along uh, in the comments uh, and loving this. Very, very busy. I need to let you know for that big collection. Lots of you going for that. Over a fifth of our world launch stock has now sold out and gone. Uh, very busy, particularly uh, for the Santa and Rudolph. So if that's the one you want, please be quick for it. And also very busy for that paper pad as well. Remember, there is a mix and match, and you can mix and match with the everyday ones, with the Christmas ones as well, if you want to. But the best way to get the best value is to go for that collection. Lots of our customers that don't normally go for a uh, whole collection saying that they've gone for it. I know Anne in uh, Connecticut said exactly the same. Uh, right, uh, let's hand back to Craig. Craig, do you fancy showing us another one of these pop-up boxes? Let's go for it, absolutely. And again, this is another one from actually uh, from our design team. So this one's from Rachel, and I just thought this was so cool. Again, I really want to create it, so I thought, I'm sure if I want to, you will want to as well. So I'm going to do the main elements of this one. I'm not going to spend loads of time on it, but I've already pre-made the box. So if you're just wondering, uh, check out uh, Rachel Weber on Facebook as well as all the girls on the design team. And uh, what we've done, so let's move that one to the side. So exactly the same as what I'd done before is I created the pop-up box. So all that I'd done different was used craft card. And then I've got a couple more layers all ready to go. And and I'm just going to stick them on and then we can get the uh, the pop-up bits all ready to go. So let's bring this one in. So I've got all my layers, so let's just bring in our pop-up box. And what I'm just going to do is let's just fold that flat and then we can start to pop all of these on. So I've just matted and layered these ones onto a bit of uh, red cardstock. And I've just inked around with our... Uh, Bordeaux ink pad. Craig, we talk a lot about making these boxes um, bigger, making them taller, extending them that way. Is there any way, this could be a terrible question, I don't know, is there any way of extending them so we there, they have more sides, so that would be a six-sided box rather than a four-sided box? If you're good with uh, your maths and that, there's no reason to. I, uh, me and maths don't go together right. at all. Um, but you know what? Why not have a play and see? You know, you can just see uh, how that how that would work. So if it's positioned that way, then certainly you would need to do it within um, uh, even numbers. Do you know what I mean? Like so, a, you'd have to a, maybe a three do or a five wouldn't necessarily work, right? Because okay. you want to have that square Two, aspect to yeah. it or rectangle. But do you know what? Have a wee play. Die cut several of them and just have a wee play. See, yeah, you would think obviously... If you, cut, if you stuck three together, I was thinking, you get a six-sided box. I don't know. Maybe it won't work. Right. Is it, so, were you thinking if you actually construct one? No, I don't know oh, what right. I'm thinking. Got you. I don't yeah. really know what I thought I'm maybe thinking. It's just a good idea in my head. If it works, that would be a great idea. I yeah. thought you meant maybe because obviously you die cut two and assemble it. I thought maybe you meant, you know, if you die cut four and joined all four together. But you Yeah, know what? that's what, that is what I meant. That's what you meant. Yeah. You do know what? I'm not sure because I've never tried it, but do you know what? Give it a shot. It's only a bit of cardstock, so um, see what you can come up with. So let's just, I'm making sure I've got my bottom layers going up and down and then my side layers going left to right. So there is our pop-up box created. Of course, you can create the back if you so wish. I've got my tabs in the middle all ready to go. So let's bring in a piece of white smooth cardstock. Once again, you can use your Nina or that if you so wish. And then let's just bring in a couple of uh, stamps. So if I bring in my stamp set, what did I do with my stamp set? I had it. Here we go. Right at the side of me where I left it. 
what, what are you doing? Work. What are you like? What are you doing with the rest of your uh, weekend, Craig? So tomorrow I uh, well I'll be at home and I will be prepping because uh, certainly here in the UK. Um, on Shopping TV, I'll be launching our foil press sentiment uh, stamps on Crate and Craft. Um, so I'm going to be launching that on Monday. However, I will also be on Crate and Craft on Sunday, taking over from Debbie Fisher, who is uh, there today and tomorrow, I believe. Oh, fantastic. So if you've gone for, if you're in the UK and you've gone for these, there's going to be shows coming up all weekend, is there, with these, Craig, over on Crate and Craft? There is. Debbie's on today, and I'm sure she has them tomorrow, and then I have a show on uh, Sunday with them Great. as well. Great, so you can well. go and get even more inspiration over there as well, which is fantastic. These will be featured in the H&M preview as well a little later. I'm pretty sure that Sarah is doing a demonstration with them uh, over on that uh, preview as well, so you'll definitely be able to get them there as well, uh, which is uh, fantastic. There's loads of inspiration you're coming your way with these over the next few days, which is lovely, because it's great to get like, all the ideas you possibly can, isn't it, Craig? It really is, because sometimes it happens to us all, even all of us on the team, sometimes you just think, what will I make? Sometimes you just need that something, that bit of inspiration, just to jog your memory and think, oh, now they've used a certain paper pad, I don't have that, but I've got such and such. So it gives you ideas actually to uh, use what you've got within your stash. Now all that I'm just doing, I'm just doing a couple, and this time, just to show you the difference, I'm stamping them, and then you can die cut them after. Did you hear that, Joe? I did. <laughs> 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 a quarter of the stock. It's so that gone. My uh, alarm isn't as good as um, Craig's. My uh, siren isn't bad though. I know, I know, I know, I can't believe, did you hear him? Did you hear, I, I know, I, I don't know. So, what we've just done is we have stamped them out, stamped them out, and then I'm just going to pop them over the top. So this just goes to show how you can just overlay them like so. So it's whatever you find it easiest. Like I say, I do find it easiest to die cut them and then stamp over the top. It's entirely up to yourself. There's no right or wrong way. And let's just pop that one on. So what you can even do with the dies afterwards, so die cut the image out, color it, then you know how I do like to uh, create a wee shadow effect. What you can do is once you've colored uh, each element, then why not die cut just using the die, maybe in a bit of black card or maybe because we're using red card, you might want to use that and then create a shadow for the back of your die cut image. So let's just run that one through. Susan said, are these sounds supposed to replace the horn? I, w I think I'd take the expletive horn, LOL. <laughs> yeah, uh, our one doesn't quite uh, give you uh, a spear. As, no. Uh, that uh, one. Joe, uh, you can tell you love your job. I'd rather hear the horn. Uh, the siren is about as annoying as the horn, is what <laughs> people say. There's just no pleasing some people, nope. Craig, is there? No, there's not. You can't win, can you? can't win. You really, really can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching, listening while working, all of a sudden I hear sirens from my phone. <laughs> Joe, you are too funny. And Craig. Uh, maybe we should have a, a roster call instead of the horn or an elephant trumpeting. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, if we have the part that makes the boxes already, we'll be able to get the other Christmas elements separately. Yeah, absolutely. The box that makes the, the, the die that makes the box is not included in the brand new uh, festive pop-up collection. We didn't put it in because we know so many of you got the everyday ones already. So that's why we put the collection together with just the five brand new stamps and dies and the paper pad and there's some rocker blocks in there as well. The rocker blocks are kind of like a, a bit of a, an extra bonus uh, from us to you. Uh, but that paper pad has been designed to work specifically with your pop-up boxes, which is fantastic. Fantastic. So then what I'm just going to do now is I've got the background and then just to show you with this one, in case you wonder how you know you can kind of colour these ones. So this one I'm going for the earth brown blend. So what I'm going to do is I know it's smaller elements, but still just roughly along the same lines as what I've done before. So just in circular motions, I'm just going to come maybe about two thirds of the way up each part and then just using the darker end, 
I'm just going to just come along just the left hand side or wherever you would like to have that kind of shadow effect. Let's flip it to the middle and then we're just going to just go over the join of the dark and the light. You like this one, up. Craig. As Sean says, Joe, you sound like a cow in labour. LOL. <laughs> Not the first time I've been called a fat cow, Sean. Don't you worry. <laughs> so, uh, I think someone is uh, looking forward to it and needing a holiday, I think. <laughs> so, if I just show you, if I come a bit closer... Oh, I'm going right in the way of the camera there. If I bring this close up and I'm going to keep that still, can you kind of see, again, you would just need a, a moment or two to just to let that alcohol evaporate. But even just on that one, can you see how you're starting to get from that dark mid to the light already? So I'll just do one more. And then what I'll just do is, uh, actually, let's go onto this larger one so you can see as well. Then we'll do a bit of the donkey. And then what we'll do is we will then just construct the pop-up. Bit like before, what I've done is I've not coloured them all because I really wanted to spend the time prepping the elements so that you could see what it would look like. But again, we've got this finished one uh, here ready to show you. And like I say, all uh, all the girls on the design team, they will post their makes as well. A lot of people saying, can we finally please replace the horn is what's being asked, Craig. I'm going to see if I can find a little bell or something whilst I'm away over the weekend. <laughs> a little cow, it'll all be annoying because we'll do it so much that you'll get sick of whatever it is that we do. So. Uh, um, uh, Susan says, wow, Joe, the look on uh, Craig's face, you rendered him speechless. Um, Mary says she's crying laughing. She says, us guys, Craig, are just too funny today. <laughs> we seem to be, don't we? We've got, got that feeling. Friday feeling. It's nearly the weekend when the real me comes alive, Craig. That's what it is. This is yeah. an insight into what happens at the weekend. I have to say, when uh, we're on about uh, replacing the horn, I'm thinking to myself, yes, and all I heard in my ear was, no. I know, they, people do love it. Robin in Maryland, an example, absolutely uh, loves it. Cowbells uh, is uh, what we should use. Robin Miller says, just tell them, Joe, it's okay. Cows are adorable and lovable, aren't they just? And they've got six stomachs winning, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't know that. Ooh. I did not know that at all. So now you would obviously carry on and continue to colour the other ones. But even just the two parts that I've done, you see where you're getting obviously that um, nice blending effect. Now I've gone a tone lighter on this one just here. But then that's what it would look like once you start to work all your way along. Now, yep, I'm using the tri-blend pens, but of course if you've got your classics or that, you could be using them. Maybe even your illustrators, you can be using them as well. Then let's just quickly, let's just do a bit of the donkey and then we can uh, crack on. So let's actually, we'll just actually use that same colour. So what I'm just going to do within uh, this one here, I've got the light tone first. So just wherever you would think, now there's no right or wrong, so don't worry about if you get it completely right or completely wrong. I'm just going to colour most of uh, the donkey in the lighter tone. And then what I'm going to do, where uh, where I want to have that lighter patch, which is going to be towards the uh, the back of the donkey, I'm going to leave white. Maxine's corrected me, they're four stomachs, Craig, not six, sorry. Four I know stomachs. Some of you wouldn't have slept tonight uh, with a incorrect information. I love it that you guys fact check me as well. I need you guys to keep me right on these things. You can imagine how much information there is in here about like glitter and show tunes and share and Eurovision. You know, sometimes there's just not enough room in there for anatomical facts about cows, Craig. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Um, I, do you know something, Joe? I don't know what to say on that one. I really don't know what to say. Oh. I'm just, yeah, just uh, colouring away. So what I'm just doing now is just where uh, I think there would be some of your uh, darko, darker shadows. So let's just come Carol thinks she's nearly wet herself <laughs> during this show. Um, I'd say... Put a towel down, Carol, uh, is the best thing to do because the laughs are going to keep coming. Uh, Melissa says, cows are very intelligent animals who remember things for a long time, uh, which is always good. I definitely can't be a cow because I forget everything, unfortunately. Oh, gosh. I do, <laughs> I do love it here. It is fun, it isn't it? It's fun. Yeah, that, yeah. It's interesting that this is our work, Craig, is what we do I, this for a job, you know? It's funny. I was, uh, I was actually sp speaking to my friend the other day on the phone, which is very rare because everything's done via WhatsApp or text or that. And uh, they said uh, something about, obviously, what I do. And I said, but you can't call it work. You really can't. You no. know, it's just a have a blast. And sometimes 
I think, can I really be saying that about my job? But I do. I have an absolute blast. Whether I'm obviously doing what I'm doing, whether I'm around you guys, whether it's you, obviously we've got Derek now, but you know, Johnny, Laura, Matt, Matt Cam's not in today, but when he's on, we've got Daniel now as well. Mm. So it really is whether we're in this area here doing our uh, CCTV shows to you, whether it's just next door in the office, it's just an absolute blast and I love it. Uh, apparently I'm a bear cub, according to Stephen, not a cow at all, a whole different, completely wrong species. Uh, I love that CCTV sounds like to sound like closed circuit television, doesn't it? Like, oh, I've been watching the CCTV again, Margaret, you won't believe what Beryl's been up to in the cold meat section. That's what it sounds like. Uh, it's not, it's Crafters Companion TV, of course, is what... Uh, is what Craig thinks. We don't have anyone that works here called Beryl and we don't have a cold meat section, just in case uh, you were wondering. If we did have a cold meat section, can you imagine the best place to work would be even better? I mean, it doesn't get much better, does it? Oh, gosh. Craig's so gone. I've broken I've Craig. Just, I really have just, uh, yeah, just lost it. So, what I've just done there <laughs> was... <laughs> I keep trying to move on and then move on, but here we go. So what we've just done there is uh, where the darker layers were, we just went over the top with the mid and then towards the top. That's a bit lighter than I would so like, but that's because I've still got a bit of uh, low tack tape on there, but it gives you the idea. And then there we go. So I've just done the same with the face. So just leave that a moment or two for the alcohol to evaporate. And then that's the sort of look that you can get. So really is easy to uh, do your color and shading when it comes to the tribe lines. If you've never started Started, you don't know where to start then absolutely your tri-blend pens are the best okay doke right so let's bring some of these in so let's uh, pop that onto acetate and that i've got a few of them already on not forgetting we've got mary joseph and baby jesus as well so there's a few other uh, donkeys and then what we've got is some some lambs and some lambs uh, are they lambs baby lambs are you sure they're not goats no, well, I would say lambs. Maybe, I don't know, maybe goats. Maybe goats. And then what we've also got is some stars that also come in. And then what I've just done is I've just uh, got a small strip of acetate and we've stuck two on as well. And then uh, what what colour was that you were using for the donkey, Craig? So for the donkey for uh, was the Earth Brown Blend. Perfect. So using the three tones for that one. Brilliant. So let's just bring in our box and then let's bring in the stars because I want to have them uh, right at the back but then sticking out quite uh, prominent so you could see. So let's just pop that one in just there and then let's bring in the next one. So let's just peel the back off and then let's pop that at this side like so. And then I've got my one that I've already pre-coloured and let's just bring in just a bit of acetate. I need to bring in my tape runner. So let's just pop some adhesive onto the back. And then I'm actually going to pop, because it's a larger image, what I am just going to do is bring in my scissors. I'm going to Sharon said, down. you know what that is, Craig? It's a baby lamb, do, 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 baby lamb, do, 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 do. You could do baby shark with absolutely anything. You could do, couldn't you? Uh, yeah. Sarah Brown says, lost for words, spell check clean up on aisle three, please. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, Craig is trying so hard to keep on track with the demos. Uh, what are you like, Joe? Uh, no, I know, we are having fun. This absolutely. is what the Craft House is all about. You know, it's all about easing you into the weekend uh, with a bit of crafty fun. Pam came in, I think Pam was the, was the star was the star of the show? That's where the she brought all the fun with her today, Pam, which was great. Pam and her PPE. Pam's PPE uh, will be the thing of thing of legend, I reckon. It really, really will be. Um, yeah, so it's very funny. It's so funny having Pam uh, in the studio. But there's still more shows to come. I will be here with you uh, with the best of tomorrow. Uh, so you can join me for that at 11 a.m. Second Chance Sunday as well. We'll be here 4 p.m. on Sunday in the UK, 11 a.m. if you're on the East Coast. And then remember from Monday, Derek's going to be here Monday, Tuesday, which is amazing. He's also going to be here next Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, but we're going to be live twice a day, seven days a week. Can you believe we went from just doing four shows a week back in uh, at the end of January? We're now live every day, twice a day. Uh, some days we've got, today you've got, you've got what? One, two, three, four, seven hours uh, of Crafters TV today, of course, with that 
earlier uh, Colour Me Happy show we did, then you've had this show, and then you've got a three hour HSM preview coming up a little bit later today. It is absolutely uh, amazing. Lots of exciting things coming your way uh, in the coming months uh, here on Crafts TV. That looks beautiful, Craig. Can I just say as well, as uh, you might find it's uh, a certain face that will be with you on majority of the weekends as well. So, um, if, if, um, if you don't like me, sorry, but... Oh, are you uh, here at the weekends? Help, uh, are you going to be uh, Mr. Weekend? I'll, I'll be doing majority of them, uh, uh -huh. I believe, so that's going to be fun. So are for you, you here, you're here with um, Derek next week? I am here on the Sunday. I will be live on the Sunday. Oh, who's here um, on the Saturday then? I don't know. Oh, it's Debbie. Know. Oh, I'm alive. She, Robinson, she's, she's back on the Saturday. Yep. Uh, oh, I'll miss her again. I keep missing her. We're like ships in the night, me and Debbie. We really are. That's beautiful, Craig. I love there the red with it. I wouldn't necessarily think to put the you red with it immediately. No, and that's exactly why uh, when I seen Rachel's as well as Nicole's earlier, it really just popped out. You know, I'd just seen that red. Because I wouldn't necessarily, you think red at Christmas, but not always with nativity. So you can just build it. So obviously with Rachel's, you've gone really all out and added a lot more detail as well. Have you seen uh, the Christmas film Nativity, Craig? I, I've seen uh, the first and the second one. Oh, I didn't realise there was more than one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, the, the third one onwards isn't, you know, great. Uh, but, okay. uh, it's also a, um, it's a West End, uh, it's a big musical, like a touring musical as well here at Christmas in the UK. You can go and see it. I don't mm. know if it'll be on this year. I hope the panto, I hope theatre's back in time for panto, because you guys in the US that don't understand what panto is, hopefully we're going to give you a panto education when we get a bit closer to Christmas. We're going to have to start thinking of a role uh, for Derek. I think Derek could be like, like the guy that comes on is like, hello boys and girls, that one, that's Derek's role. What's that called? Laura's our go-to uh, panto expert. Is it like Dandini? Is he that role? I think he is, isn't he? Or Buttons is that role as well. Isn't he? I think that's going to be Derek's role. Is Derek all right with that one? We'll just work it out. I'm of course going to be the dame. Sarah's going to be... Uh, Sarah's going to be uh, the female lead. Um, Leanne was a bit annoyed when I told her she was going to be the fairy godmother. She thought she was going to be the female lead, but I'm sorry, Sarah is here. And let's face it, you know, um, Leanne is like the honorary uh, fairy godmother of Crafts Companion, so it only seems mm -hmm. fair. Uh, right, very busy on the collection. I'd love to show some photos. Loads of you have been sending photos in. Who sent this one? Janice has sent this lovely photo. Danny, oh, it's great to have some guy crafters. Janet, wonderful. Not Janice, not Danny, no, Janet. Third time lucky, right. Great to have uh, Janet sending us in this card. As you can see here, uh, that's from the birthday collection uh, that we have. Oh, we've got another one in from Jenny uh, here, which is gorgeous. I'm loving that one with that little pop-up element there. Oh, we've got some foiling, Craig. Uh, this will make you happy. This is from lovely Debbie Holiday uh, down in the southwest. I do love that one there. That foil, that foil stamp one was available yesterday. Oh, we've had a uh, we've had a uh, picture all the way from Denmark. Is it the lovely Pia in Denmark? Uh, that sent these into us. I think they are just super cute. Another great one, a way of using your cute characters that we sometimes bring to you, would be great to incorporate those in there as well. Right, very, very busy. I'm just gonna whiz through the individuals. Now, is it still the um, Santa and Rudolph that's the favorite? Uh, over a fifth of Santa and Rudolph has gone individually. A quarter of the stock of Santa and Rudolph has gone individually now. Uh, you've got that gingerbread house in there as well. That one is also very busy. This is my favorite actually, uh, incidentally. Uh, you've also got, worth saying, I'll just note it now, but in the papers, you've got them all designed and laid out for each one of these. So you see all these designs that you'll see on the front of the packaging. You can go and find all the inspiration over on Pinterest as well. You'll have the papers that will enable you to do this, which is fantastic. You've also got in there the poinsettia delight. It's a really on-trend um, floral image, it seems for Christmas at the moment, the poinsettia, and it's great to have the candles in there as well. The next one we've got here is the Christmas Cottage. Now this one's got those incredible deers on there, uh, really lovely. I don't think this one needs to be just for Christmas. This could be just sort of a generic sort of winter cottage, maybe something like a skiing holiday this evokes. You've got also the Away in a Manger too. That one is in there included as well, which is brilliant. Now you get all of them. You also get some rocker blocks included. They're like a little extra bonus uh, from us to you. And then what you've got is, you've got the, so that one there. So you see that one there? That is the, let me just show you this. 
that is the paper that the packaging one was done with. So you've got, they're all sort of fought out, ready for you to be able to use on whatever you choose to. But they are absolutely, they are absolutely beautiful designs here, as you can see. Now, you don't need to use these with your pop-up boxes. There's nothing to stop you just using these for your everyday standard Christmas crafting. But they will work beautifully with your pop-up boxes. I can see that a lot of you are adding a second and a third of the paper pads into your basket. Uh, they're not in the shop, the show, but they are available on the website. So just pop yourself over to the main area of the website, search for pop-up box Christmas, and you'll be able to find that there as well, which is fantastic. If you wanna get all of that, which is the best value, fire and away, 85 pounds, $99. Club uh, Inspire Platinum members, you're gonna get another 17 pounds off of that in the UK. You'll get another $20 off of that if you're in the US. Something that you will need though to go in conjunction with that if you don't already have it is of course this one here which is our pop-up box card this is what the worker die this is what's going to create that fabulous base that you're then going to add all of those detail all of those embellishments to as well so do make sure you've got that one uh, right something else that we've got on the show let me just grab the board for you just one second we've got the fancy fonts on the show for you as well there you are I'm back slipping off there like uh, Mrs. Overall. Now these are fantastic because what these do for you is they allow you to die cut the main uh, word that's in here. So with this one it's thanks. And then you've got just a note, you've got for everything, a million, a bunch. So you can customize your own sentiment for birthday, uh, celebrate, sympathy, you've got happy, sorry, smile, love, thinking, special, family, and friend all in there for you 50 pounds down from 71 pounds 60 dollars down from 95 dollars these really versatile these aren't they craig these are so versatile and if uh, obviously you follow me on instagram and facebook you'll see i use these all the time i absolutely adore them so what i'm just going to do is i've just taken the one that says love and i've got some white card and also some uh, red card and then all that i'm just going to do is i'm just going to position that just so it's uh, covered so let's just pop it that way and then all that i'm just going to do is run that through but because it is the daddy gemini i'm just going to wait till i can hear it just going over the die press pause and then do the reverse and we had a fabulous deal for way. that baby uh, daddy gemini on um cartload yeah. yesterday craig yeah and you've got the big machine and you got 50 pounds or 70 dollars worth of dies for free with it it was a fabulous offer amazing isn't it that was really good so there we go, we've got love that's die cut within the white. So then let's just do that again. And then we're just going to do that within the red and die cut that as well. So I'm just going to use it as it is. However, as Joe showed you, you do have your stamps as well. So then using the word love as the main feature, you've then got stamps, a selection of stamps is, for instance, one says is a beautiful thing. So you would have the die cut word love and then you can stamp out is a beautiful thing or you can stamp out all my and then have love at the side so it says all my love so you can have some fun as to what uh, you're popping on the front of the card and that's a good thing although these are obviously words it's a great one to use as the main focal of your card because sometimes you think either the words you pop as an insert or you just maybe pop at the bottom or top of a card whereas this is creating the full focal point Jeffrey across in New Hampshire Craig has let me know apparently Debbie, Fish Debbie Fisher was visited by Santa today in her earlier show on Crate and Craft and it turns out she's been a good girl this year I mean I could tell you that she's the she's she's a good girl isn't she uh Debbie definitely on that good list absolutely of course she is yeah always uh going to be uh on the nice list never on the naughty list um it's been a while since I've seen uh Debbie I do miss catching up with her um to hopefully see her soon but uh yeah I wonder if Santa will still be round about on Sunday when I'm there you don't know Who I knows? don't know they have a, I, it looks like the real, the actual real Santa that they have at Crate and Craft. I think it's like the bona fide real one from Lapland that comes over because, uh, you know, he looked amazing when I saw him. Uh, Denise is asking, was it Denise that's asked? Someone asked, I can't remember who it was. Someone said, what does it say on the t-shirt? It says, shut the front door, shut the back door. Uh, pull the blind, it's Joe Remnant's time. Uh, Carol Co made it for me, massive thanks again. Uh, to cat will i be wearing it in the hsm preview later no sorry i'll be on my best behavior because i'll be here <laughs> with the boss. the boss is in absolutely the boss is in so what i'm just doing now is let's take 
the white, uh, the red cardstock. Now I've just got a bit of red gingham card. So let's just pop that into place and then let's bring in our tape again. And then all that I've just done is I've just brought in one of my embossing folders, which was the emboss and die cut one. So I'm going to bring that in just in a moment. So let's bring, that was the cardstock, so I need that. So that can go like that. Then here is the one that I've already uh, die cut earlier. So let's just add just a bit of adhesive. We need to say happy birthday, Craig, to Katie Henderson. It is her 66th birthday today. A happy birthday, Katie, from all of us here at Crafters TV. To you, I hope you had a wonderful day. She says, you've made all of my 66 years great today with so much laughing to the, the both of you, which is lovely, isn't it, Craig? Oh, that's so nice. Happy birthday. Was it Katie? Uh, it was Katie. Indeed. Happy yeah. birthday, Katie. I'm glad you've had a lovely day, and I'm glad we were able to make you laugh. Carol says, wonder if Joe's taking his gold trousers with him on vacation. He has his speedo packed, apparently. <laughs> Uh, Joe, tell Craig that we love him, so it's Maxine. How lovely oh, is that? Thank you, Maxine. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, we all get so much love um, and support from everyone. Um, but certainly, obviously, since I've come back, not only when I was off, but then when I came back, the love and support that I've got and the messages saying how uh, they love seeing me back and they love seeing us uh, working together, Joe. Yeah, it absolutely. It gives everyone a good laugh. I forget, what it was, I forget what Life BC was like uh, before Crafters Companion. I've only been here. It's not, has it been six months? That was the end of January. Where are we now? The middle of July. Gosh. Nearly six months. That flies by, doesn't it? It does, yeah, fly by. And then in about, maybe about three, four weeks' time, that will be a year since I actually moved uh, to County Durham. Oh. I moved into my house, yeah. That's fantastic. Been here, I and know. You've still not been to the Yankee Candle Shop in Darlington. I've you not need yet, to no. You write that wrong, Craig. You need to write that wrong. It is um, uh, on my list to do. And Johnny says he'll take you. I can't imagine I was, Johnny really being into Yankee Candles, but he'll take you. I was about to say, because then I will um, pop into uh, Johnny and Gemma's for uh, a cup of tea. Perfect. There we go. So there we go. So just using an embossing, uh, and cu embossing and cup folder that I've already have, but then just using the love on its own. And then, like you say, what you could just do is just stamp out a few sentiments, and you can just pop them either at the top or the bottom, and then that's all that you need just to have the focal on the card. So oh, how that fantastic. Way. Ready to see. Uh, great that you get all of them as well, Craig. There's loads in there, which is fantastic, uh, and for a great price. And they, uh, the great thing is about them, you can customise them by the way you interchange the stamp set that goes with them, which is brilliant. So uh, they really do work uh, in everyone's uh, crafty stash. Uh, the heart would have made a lovely shaker card, um, says Carleen. Uh, Mary says, uh, oh, so glad that you two joined uh, the uh, the Crafts Companion team. Craig is so talented and Joe is so funny. I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, I'm loving the beard, Craig. You're looking extra handsome, uh, says Kelly Giambetro. Uh, ooh. Uh, Craig, I'm a new fan. Lockdown happened before I found Crafters TV. Love your demos. I'll be following you for sure. How lovely uh, is that? Uh, now, it's very, very busy. I can see a lot of you have got very full baskets, no doubt, uh, waiting for a chance to check out. So I'll give uh, you that opportunity to do so. And whilst you do, here's all the details of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. We've got big news, Craig. What's that? Big, big news. Bigger than a world launch. Pound the alarm, Craig. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, can I tell them? You, can I tell them? Shall I, shall I tell them? No, can I, can I tell them? You, sh you sure? All right, I'll tell them. Uh, yes, uh, it turns out uh, Laura has already written the first song for the Panda. Laura is like a creative director 
uh, for the crafter's companion uh, Panto. Uh, so she's in charge, she's producing it, and she's written the first song. Do you want to hear the first few lines? Can I, can, I, can I read them the first few lines, Laura? I stay up too late, got sequins on my brain. That's what people say. Mm -mm. Creating every day. Mm -mm. I got my acetate. If I'm rolling all the way, at least that's what people say. Mm -mm. Creating every day. Mm -mm. Uh, and that's amazing. I absolutely love it. Because I've got my acetate, tate, 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 tate. My Gemini and my plate, plate, plate. It's going to be amazing, Craig, isn't it? That's going to be brilliant. Oh, I can't wait to record that. I'll work on the singing. I'll get a few lessons uh, by then and we'll nail it. I'm so excited uh, for that, Craig. Uh, can't wait. Uh, lots of excitement in the uh, in the comments. The horrible thing about back watching this and looking at the comments is it's about 10 seconds delayed. <laughs> so you act like an idiot and then you stop and you watch it and then you have to watch it all back again, uh, which is not uh, the, uh, the best thing. Uh, I just want to let you know it's still very, very busy on the main collection. Don't forget you can mix and match if you want to and go for just two of these brand new stamp and dies as well if you want to however the best way to get the best value is to go uh, for that big collection uh, as well details on your screen for the uh, fancy font word stamp and die uh, collection uh, but it is the uh, pop-up box die there you are 85 pounds 99 dollars you can all still use your club inspired discount off of that as well right what are you fancy showing us next then craig we've only got about 20 minutes or so left yeah no problem at all so what i've just done is i've just taken a, a white pop-up box so i've just taken this one here so if i show you that now i'm not going to do much decorating of the sides because what i want to show you is the christmas cottage so all that i've just done already and well, just started to is die cut or stamp some of the actual um, stamps and then what we're going to do is we're going to die cut it so let's just take a few more so I'm going to pop just a few there, there, and then there. And then obviously it's going to show you how to die cut it just by layering them over the top. So even the small ones, you're getting the stamps and the dies. So of course you would obviously have them a lot closer. I'm just doing this for uh, speed and time. So let's pop these ones on and then let's just take another one. What we'll do, let's take that Christine's one and that one. Christine's just joining the show, Craig. And she says, please tell me what I missed. Did we set a cruise date? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, I'm afraid. Uh, no. Uh, oh, Stephanie said she couldn't wait till 2 p.m. She's just been had a little sneaky at the HSN products that are coming Ooh. up. You want to make sure if you're in the US, you've got the uh, brochure, the booklet. Uh, downloaded uh, so yeah that was what I'd say can't wait for the CC Panto Peg says Craig has got the moves uh, which I don't love. know about that don't know about that I'm not a dancer uh, Patina says my son came over to visit on his lunch break and heard Joe singing he looked at me and just said mum what the heck are you watching <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, we, we say that quite a lot as well. We do, we do. What the heck are we doing is what we explain. Is it exclaim, isn't it, uh, Craig? It is. But all in good fun. All in good fun. Right, so what I've just done is just layering them over the top, as uh, like that one. And then what you'll find is you'll always get that nice um, shadow line all the way around. And then that just allows you to li uh, layer them up. And we're just going to run that one round. So if you do like to fussy cut like I do, then of course there's no reason why you uh, can't do that at all. You can just uh, use the stamps without the dies. So we're just going to pop that one on. So if we position that on. So all that I'm actually doing is the inside line of the die. I'm just lining that up with the outside line of the stamped image. And we can just do that with these ones. Now, even with these snowflakes, you know, these would look good um, not stamping them. Just die cut them out maybe into some uh, blue card, grey card uh, on its own. Maybe some texture card. If you die cut them in a uh, texture card, you've obviously got that texture effect. Maybe do a bit of uh, spritzing with your inks over the top. That would look quite smart. And let's just die cut that one as well the good thing with this one is where's my stamps that are just here because you've got some mountain scenes within these ones so you've got that nice large mountain scene along the bottom and you've obviously got your uh, smaller one just there so if you think some of the scenes that you can be creating these ones now yeah you've got the 
the tree as well as the deer. But there's nothing stopping you from changing that to be a spring scene. The way that you colour it in, the way that you add the accents to it when it comes to the colour, it could really be any time of the year. Even these trees here, even snip them out if you so want and then just build them up as well. Do all that, layer them up. You don't just have to pop them onto your pop-up box flat. You know, nothing stopping you from layering them and creating a bit of decoupage. Maybe uh, add a, a doubled layer of acetate just to give that, that bit of strength, just to hold it up. But you know, so much fun. I think everyone loves uh, a pop-up box, you know, whether it is uh, a traditional pop-up box or whether it's these type just here. These like, look really smart. Everyone plays with them. I mean, you walk past them, you know, you always have a, a wee press and a prod of them and just see them just step flopping back and forwards. Or if you've got They're a nice boy, breeze. Good, good, good boingers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. If you've got a nice breeze coming in, wherever it is that you are positioning them, you know, you can just see them just uh, starting to... Um, I have just lost my complete train of thought. Did you just, just stop there. talking then? I just are stopped talking. Are you talking gibberish? <laughs> yeah, because I completely lost my train of thought as to what I was saying. <laughs> uh, Carlotta says she just got a Rianki candle order, Craig. Uh, she absolutely... Uh, love the, <laughs> uh, love the answers. Uh, Kelly says, OMG, low. I think uh, Joe is bringing out your wild side, Craig. What is going on? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, great singing, uh, says, uh, who is it? Yolanda. I think you might be uh, being very kind uh, there. But everyone is very excited for uh, the Crafter's Companion uh, Panto, uh, which is going to be fantastic. I can't wait till we start. Uh, producing that it's gonna be fun <laughs> that will be fun that would maybe be we could do it you know maybe we could do we could put it together as an actual panto and do you know two yeah. nights at Newton Aycliffe working men's club or something like that I don't know well yeah yeah I'm down, sure they've seen the uh, some pantos one a night at the con club uh, with the cast of crafters companion I can see it now yeah god that would be interesting wouldn't it see what that would be like you I know, think it'd be fabulous panto, all dressed up mm-hmm Right, so what I'm just going to do now is uh, we can start to colour one of them. However, what you can also do is if I take, let's take our ice grey blend. So I'm actually going to go with the middle one. So I'm going to go with the mid. So I'm using ice grey blend, but I'm using the mid colour. And then what you can do, so you know uh, myself and many on the team as well, when we colour in, we uh, sometimes go around the edges with a grey and it just makes it stand out. If you want to do a monochrome uh, pop-up box, so you don't want to do the colour in, so maybe this one here, the Christmas cottage, you want to leave it that black and white. But what you could do is if you go round just the edges, because you get a white line all the way around, so you can either, using your scissors, just snip that away, or what to do is just with, although I did say I was going to go with a mid colour, but I've gone with a light, but it's still going to show you how you can just add that bit of accent to it. And it'll be surprising, actually, how effective it is. You think it's maybe just stamped in black, and you've got the black and white look, but the grey just really adds that bit of uh, depth to it. So I'm just going round the outside, and that's a bit of snow, so we can leave that there. There's just a wee gap just in there, and then in there. So I'm not sure actually how well that will show in camera, but let's bring this a bit closer for you to see anyway. So if I bring it in like that, then hopefully it's quite subtle but in, in there. But you've got that grey shadow effect all the way around. So that just adds that wee bit of definition. So if you're not quite comfortable when it comes to colouring, then of course you can do it that way. So let's bring in the tree and let's do a bit of colour in just with the tree. So let's go for, we'll go for the alpine or the dull green. Let's go for alpine because you think a Christmas cottage out in the woods, go with the alpine. So with this one just here is you've got some parts here where it would be white with snow. So what I'll do is let's go for the, the green to start with. And then sometimes uh, people think, how can I create the look of snow? You know, if something's white, how can I make it look uh, dimensional without actually leaving it white? So we'll show you that in a second. So I'm just starting, so I'm going to have the uh, deeper layer just down to the bottom there. So I've gone two thirds of the way up with the light. So then let's just go with the dark, just maybe about a quarter of the way, and then flip to the middle. And then once again, shad uh, we're just uh, circular motions, just going up to that shadow effect line, just there and then back to the light 
and circle effects just to the top and we'll leave that for a moment or two just for the alcohol to evaporate and you start to see that uh, blending just coming together. So once again, let's just go into the bottom just there. I'm not going to go right to the top and we're going to flip to the dark and let's just go right along the bottom. We'll leave it there and then let's go to the mid and then we're just circular motions again and it just really helps to seamlessly just bring in the uh, the depth to the tree so let's just color that one let's do one more just down to here so again i'm going to go around where uh, i can see that would be some snow so i'm just going to work my way just there Could, can you craig this is i don't know if the, the answer to this can you color something like this like an alcohol marker could you then use your uh, translucent sticky ink pad and put a clear embossing powder over it and do like a faux enameling over it after you've alcohol marked it? Of course you can. You can Absolutely. do that, can you? Absolutely, yeah, you oh, can do. Because I think yeah. these tree trees would look beautiful, wouldn't they, if they had that real sort of glossiness to yeah. them? Yeah, so of course you've got your things like your uh, glossy accents or that. You know, what you can even do is, if you've just got, if you even just use our um, tacky glue, so this is just our call I'll Call Al Tacky Glue. So what you can just do is, we'll do that in a minute just to show you. Obviously it won't dry, but it gives you uh, the idea and the effect of what I'm just about to show you. But yeah, if once you've coloured it, if you've got clear embossing powders, yeah, just use our watermark ink pad um, or whatever watermark ink pad you've got at home. Go over it with a clear embossing powder, melt it, and you're going to get that nice glisten effect all the way along Ooh. the top. So let's just go back to the mid and we'll just circular motions just like so and then let's go to the light finish that one off and then what i'll do is before i go over with the snow let's just show you how you start to get that blending effect just coming through within the tree so if i tip it up that way like so so you can see there so i would leave it another moment or two just for the, the alcohol to evaporate so you've got that effect there but when it comes to the snow so this goes for anything when it comes to snow let's go for we'll go for the mid this time so instead of coloring it all in gray what i'm just going to do just along the bottom i'm just going to do a few small dots nothing uh, over complicated just a few small dots just towards the bottom and we're just going to do it like that. And that's all that I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it just like that. So before I move on to the next bit, let's just show you that as well. So let's turn that that way. And then you can just start to see. So it, it's not a full on grey, but it just gives you that shadow. So it lets you see that you've not um, missed it by accident. And it is actually meant to be a whiter colour, but you've got that shadow. Then this is what I was on about. So if you don't have anything like a glossy accent, then what you can just use is our um, Colal Tacky Glue. So what I'll just do is let's just go over that area that I've just coloured in grey. So this is where our wee applicator comes in handy. However, does it, our... Does it um, dry hard then, the tacky glue, Craig? It'll dry hard and it'll dry clear and it'll still dry raised as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so if I leave it like that, of course you could sprinkle some glitter on if you like. Ooh. Now, I'm not going to tip that up because it will just start to fall down. But where I've just gone over that, so you can maybe actually see it's a bit, di there we go. You see how it's a bit, bit di dimensional? Yeah, I can see so that. It will stay like that, but it will dry clear as well. So you can use your uh, wet glue for uh, techniques like that. So let's just move that one to the side. So I know the other ones, I've not coloured them in, but let's just start to assemble it, just so for anyone just tuning in and is thinking, I've never seen the pop-up boxes before, how do you actually create them? So let's bring in the box that we've already uh, assembled and popped together. Set that one to the side, and then I've got some acetate strips. So I would uh, suggest using your uh, red liner tape for this one, but let's just use our uh, tape runner for uh, this one. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just adding some adhesive to the top of the acetate strip, and it's always hard to see on uh, TV. So I'm just going to pop that one on just there. So the cottage and the stag, I'm going to have quite prominent and towards the back. So let's bring this one in as well. So let's just pop that one to the back. Then this is where let's bring in our pop-up box. So let's bring in my scissors. So I tend to, obviously I would have it facing me, 
but what I would tend to do is just uh, have a look, see where I want that to be positioned. So I'm just pushing down as far as I want that to go. So I know I want it to go around about there. So just where my finger is, I'm just going to snip that. And then what I'll just do is just kind of position that back to where it would go. And then I'll position the next one and just have a look, just see, do I want it further down? This one here with the cottage, do I want it further down? Nancy's asking, Craig, do you thin the glue when you use it for the snow technique or is it just as is out of the tacky glue bottle? As it is, because you would find if you were to try and thin it down, then it's just, it's going to become like water, isn't it? Maybe slightly thicker than water, so it's just going to flood. So um, yeah, use it as it is. The other way that you could do it is uh, by heat embossing with black uh, powder. So you're going to get that nice raised edge all the way around, so that will hold the glue into place. However, if you use it just the way that I've done, you're going to find that it's not going to seep over the edges, it's going to stay in place. But How if fantastic. you were to actually, yeah, if you were to water it down, then it will, uh, chances are it will just seep outwards. Oh, awesome. Great tip that, Craig. I've never seen that done before. So a lot of people saying how much they love their pop-up boxes. Snooze, you lose, y'all. Sonia, she snoozed and she lost, Craig, because she didn't realise what the time was. She's only just joining us. I'm sure she's going to go back and watch this show back later. You can watch all of our shows back, don't forget, here on Crafters TV afterwards by going back on our website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Uh, Eleanor says, these Christmas sets are just so nice. I just have to have all of them. Uh, I definitely know what I'm going to uh, be doing. Uh, yeah, very, very busy. So many of you, hundreds uh, have you, of you have gone for uh, the pop-up box, that brand new festive collection in this show. So uh, very, very excited that you're all going to be able to get your hands on those. Uh, very very soon and start creating something amazing uh, the details on your screen are for the brand new collection five stamp and die sets in there that brand new 12 by 12 pad and also uh you've got in there the rocker blocks as well a little extra gift uh, from us to you uh, which is fantastic don't forget the day's not done here on crafters tv after the show because there is a three hour hsm preview uh coming your way in just over an hour uh, I think it's going to be over on the Crafts Companion USA page, so make sure you head over there uh, after we are done here. Right, so let's just pop one last bit and we'll just use one of the wee mountains, which of course you can pop the larger one towards the back. And I'm just going to snip that there. So you can then just spend so much more time at home just working out where you're going to position what, how it's going to look. But again, for anyone that's just tuning in, it gives you the idea actually how you can then assemble them and create them. And uh, it can look like that. So if I then just bring in one like this, so it's just done in craft card now, but it just lets you see what it would look like when it's all been coloured in by your tri-blend markers or any of your markers that you've got. Fantastic. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, really, really uh, stunning. Lots of you uh, are loving uh, these pop-up boxes. So many of you uh, have gone for them in this show, which is fantastic. Uh, Carol says, this show has gone too quickly. You can watch it all again if you want to. Uh, I'm missing the polar bear and the igloo set. Uh, I'm sure we'll bring those to you at some point in the uh, near future. Uh, I love my husband, but not when he interrupts my craft TV. You tell him, Valerie, absolutely would not be standing for that on a Friday afternoon. Uh, so yes, uh, lots and lots of love for that big collection. Don't forget as well, make sure you don't miss out on the die that's going to create uh, everything for you because you need to have this die ready. If you want to make those amazing boxes, you could make them on your own, uh, you know, by using maybe a scoreboard and a pair of scissors, but it's going to be a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of working out, a lot of maths. So it's going to be quite taxing. The die allows you to get to the bit that you love really quickly, which is, of course, the creating, the composition, and the putting together of these incredible boxes. $24.99 if you want to go for that one, or $39.95. Don't forget as well, we've got the tri blend uh, available for you on the show. Uh, 17.99, 26.95 if you want to go for those. Uh, right, well, Craig, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, working with you. When are we back together? Do you know? Will it be... I am back. At the end of uh, next week? I'm back uh, twice on Wednesday. I'll be here then. And uh, Thursday as well. Fantastic. So I'll see you Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, don't forget, uh, you've got shows coming up at the weekend. Of course, Best Of will be here. Uh, Second Chance Sunday will also be here. Derek will be here. Make sure you come and give Derek for, uh, some love for his first show with Sarah on Monday. Uh, and I'll see you back here for live shows on Wednesday. Uh, if I uh, don't see you till then, have a great weekend. Take care. Uh, but a lot of you, don't forget, an, an hour's time over on the uh, Crafts Companion USA page, we've got that three-hour HSM preview. So hopefully, I'll see you over there. Take care. Thank you.